We're rating nine different vegan ads based on the performance that they would get with social media. All right, so we're gonna be ranking those nine different video ads based on their acquisition, not brand. So what that means is the likelihood that the audience is actually going to click through and purchase the product, not having a good brand or a good memory of the product and then they may purchase it later on. So we're gonna be doing this into four different tiers. Uh, where the top tier is they squash the competition. Uh, the second is uh, when they were very nice. Uh, the third is mediocre. Uh, and then the fourth is there is mushroom uh, for improvements uh, for them to be able to get the audience to uh, take uh, action uh, with the particular ad. Now we're gonna go through the uh, uh, video ads based on what you see in the uh, bottom of the screen where it starts with Beyond Meat. Uh, California almonds and so on and at the end of the video we're going to be showing these video clips in full where you can be able to see uh, the videos that we're speaking about I'm going to be looking at them off screen uh, and then uh, you can be able to watch them in the order as well so beyond me will be the first video shown followed by uh, California almonds and so on all right so let's get into it the first one is beyond meats yeah and basically what it's showing is um, a burrito that uh, the text is a better way to wake up to your breakfast no cholesterol gmos or antibiotics powered by plants i'm speaking about that really fast it's a short video um it is not visually telling a story anything better about their product uh, it just happens to be a burrito that they're showing uh which visually it's okay uh, and then when it said uh, no cholesterol, GMOs, or antibiotics, doesn't tell me. It, the visual is weak. The text is cool. Um, visual doesn't tell me anything. Uh, then it says powered by plants, and it's still showing the same burrito. Ooh. The copy is good, but this visual is not matched to the copy. You are one uh, uh, tier away from mushroom to improve. And this may actually be uh, the, the worst, uh, the lowest mediocre. Um, all right, so let's get to California almonds. By the way, I'm listing everything as sound off. Uh, some of these are going to be sound off relevant. Um, uh, the reason for sound off is so it can be a better listening experience for you. It's always weird and you hear like visuals coming and popping in the background. Uh, but also 85% of the audience, at least through social feeds on Meta, listen with the sound off. That's going to be a little bit different, though, when it comes to uh, Instagram stories. And then it's going to be uh, a much different when it comes to TikTok. Uh, but it's also for your convenience as well. All right. So California almonds. Uh, funny. Uh, uh, <laughs> there's a gentleman sitting in the almond suit holding almonds. Uh, and the one bash about this is there's no captions. Uh, uh, so the audience is able to visually follow along with what they're saying. Uh, but I did watch it previously and it's pretty funny. Uh, he's holding almonds and saying that there's a time and place for almonds in every situation. There's a guy in a hammock, he hands, hands them the almonds, and the guy eats the almonds. It's pretty good, great selling points. Uh, lets you know, like, just buy some almonds, you always find a, you always find a value into it. Uh, so with that, that with, that's the benefit that they're pushing forth is uh, there's always a time and space for almonds and it does a great job. Uh, I'm going to put this as squash the competition. The only thing really is missing is captions, but it's a really clever idea uh, and the cleverness um, is able to uh, break through the uh, lack of captions. Cool. All right, let's go into Eclipse Foods. So this is ice cream, and what they're doing is they're showing um, just their different flavors, but they're just showing the packaging of their flavors, uh, not showing their actual product so itself or anybody enjoying it, the product, just packaging going around. I mean, it shows you what kind of flavor it is, um, but it, it, it's really not that appetizing. Uh, I haven't ate packaging in quite some time. Uh, it says zero dairy, zero compromise, a thousand percent delicious. Oh man, <laughs> I didn't realize this before. I just took it like 
it said something that's valuable. Zero percent compromise. That's subjective. Uh, now, uh, actually, uh, to some degree, probably false. Uh, but that's neither here nor here. There, a thousand percent delicious. That is a hundred percent subjective. Uh, so the only factual thing they say is zero percent dairy. Uh, they say something else. What did they say? I don't know. They just say clips showing packaging. All right. So this is going to be. This is a clever video that tells you nothing. There's a lot of stuff moving. It looks kind of fancy, but it doesn't tell you a dang thing at all, except for the 0% dairy. Uh, and they have, you have to look in, uh, let's see, mint chip, dark side of the spoon, uh, cookies and cream, you have to like look in. Uh, the, it's small text on the video ads. It doesn't really tell you anything. Uh, there is much room for improvements. Um, yeah, uh, it doesn't tell me anything about their ice cream, uh, except that there is 0% dairy. Uh, and that is it. Uh, all right, let's go into uh, field roast. Now on the surface, this also looks really good of a commercial um, or of a video. However, it goes too fast. It's too complex. I don't understand what they're pointing at. So the, uh, I would recommend it, like look at the video later on. Um, what it is, it's a pan of food. Make sure plant-based appetizers guaranteed to score. So it's a bunch of food. Looks like you're at a bar. Uh, and the opening line does tell you it's plant-based foods. And then it looks like it is a football, like it's looked like it's John Madden where there's a picture of the uh, food going into the sauce and then pointing at the uh, packaging. Uh, by the way, the packaging is hard to read, so it's hard to understand that this is plant-based uh, or, or, uh, or exactly what's read on the packaging because it goes so quick. Um, and I don't like, do they really point at the yeah, they point at the sauce. Like, that that's confusing. Why are they pointing at the sauce? Like, uh, 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 point at the packaging. Food equals packaging. The sauce just completely throws me off. It adds to the complexity. Why are you pointing at the packaging? This is like John Madden's evil twin. He's, he's pointing at the, uh, 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 the coach, and you're thinking that the coach is doing something, but the players are the, one that, the ones that are performing it. Maybe a bad analogy. Uh, but way too quick, way too fast, and needs to be slowed down. I like the idea that they're doing. They're showing, they're showing uh, their food, uh, and they're showing their packaging. Um, it's right between Berry Nice. I'll go Berry Nice because they're, they are showing their product. Uh, however, because they're not showing, it's too complex, and their, their product really isn't standing out. Uh, it's a definitive lack in what could be a uh, top tier uh, video. All right, let's go to Harmless Harvest. Oh man, this one's so bad. Oh, this one made me cringe so bad. Oh, it talks about spooning. It's spooning season. And then the, the, the girl is talking about how something about Paris, that she really wants to go to Paris and spooning with Harvest. I, I'm gonna put this, this audio on just so I can get a better memory. Apologize for the background sound, but maybe you'll get a little bit more context. It's that time of year again. It's spooning season. Am I talking about cuddling? Maybe the parfait technique was first developed in France. Yeah, okay, spooning season. So they're talking about spooning their uh, their yogurt. Um, it's not clear uh, as to what the benefit of the product is at all. At all. Uh, yet, uh, uh, so the audience is deeply confused. Uh, and by the way, social media is not like traditional media. Uh, where traditional media, you build, 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 beat drop, <laughs> benefits. Uh, you have to lead with the benefits. So talking about spooning. 
Just bad. And then they throw in, obviously, I've been to Paris. No, I haven't. And, all, and then she goes on a tangent about how she's never been to Paris. And then they start talking about her eating the parfait. And then, then she goes like, I really haven't been to Paris. Please invite me. Uh, anyway, I that, that, that just the bash. Um, it is the worst video. This is terrible. This is terrible. And also, it's a big video production, uh, uh, decent sized video production that, that, that a, a good amount of cash that they just absolutely burnt. It's not a good performer. <laughs> I, <laughs> uh, to some extent, I would put my career uh, 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 bet on that. I, uh, that is just not a good video. All right, let's, so enough for my like deep bash. Uh, there might be another one. Uh, all right, Impossible Foods. Oh, this is a breath of fresh air. So much different than the previous video. Uh, so you see a child, eyes closed, and then they check uh, Impossible Chicken Nuggets versus other chicken nuggets. And then you see them say, I like the Impossible Chicken Nuggets. Uh, and then in between, you see them dance, they see them jigging, you see a little branding going on, like, yo, man, I like the Impossible Nuggets. They are bomb. The kid's having fun, doing a little shimmy. Everybody loves a little shimmy. It's goofy, it's funny. Um, wait, do they have captions? They don't. Uh, I still like it better than uh, almonds uh, because there is a shimmy. Great video, impossible. You actually are able to do a side-by-side -side comparison so the audience is able to understand. Uh, that there really is no difference uh, or there may be even a, a better taste with impossible uh, comparison to the competition uh, rather than saying that you're great you show that you're you show that you're great talk is cheap show it uh light life let's go in oh another one uh so in intelligence uh writing as well um Light Life, it is uh, leave out the GMOs. There's people cutting food on a cutting board, leaves more room for OMGs. And then you see those same people who are then enjoying a meal over a lake. Uh, An OMG, it looks beautiful. I think that very intelligent uh, writing. However, uh, this is a the way plant-based food should be. This is about uh, burgers. Uh, and they're cutting apples. Uh, so there is a disconnect there. It's smart, smart copywriting, uh, but going from cutting apples to uh, burgers, mm, uh, smart doesn't mean great. Sometimes smart could be just a little bit off, uh, but still good. Uh, you still get a kudo. You are very nice uh, for cutting fruit. Oh no, this is a cringe. Oh no, this is a cringe. Oh no, I'm gonna play the vo I like playing the volume just for, for me to like, <laughs> get even more mad. Uh, so there's a magician who's pulling up a, um, who's pulling up food. It's like a meat sub. Uh, and there's an obvious lines around them. It's pulling up the meats. Like there's literally, I have no idea as a consumer what's going on. And then it says, hocus lac, hocus no lactose. Okay, that, I don't understand what that means. That gives no context to what has been previously said. How did we make, yeah, you, you may have heard that. How did we make dairy-free cheese tastes like cheese? Uh, uh, you wait till the very end to say that. That's not how it works. Uh, and uh, you did a terrible job of explaining about how your uh, cheese is different. Like you can't just talk about it. Talk is cheap. Uh, and that is a cheap magic trick. Uh, very few people are gonna date that musician after seeing that ad. Or very few people are gonna date that product after seeing that ad. Uh, you are a mushroom. Uh, and you need some portobello in there. That's a bad joke. That's a bad joke. 
All right, Sevilla, last one. Because they have captions here. Um, it is, so this is more of a branding plan where they are, uh, it is a sugarless soda that uh, they're enjoying. Uh, and it's more of like a jingle to get like with the trendy things going along uh, with people enjoying themselves while they're having Sevilla. And here a little popped as well. Uh, however, throughout the, uh, uh, the jingle, they do say uh, you, uh, there is no sugar involved. No sugar, no sugar, no sugar, no sugar, no sugar. Uh, uh, which is a good job in terms of the branding. Uh, and because it is, uh, because they do it such a good job branding, uh, they don't necessarily show like what's very healthy about it by no sugar, but they do do the iterations. Uh, so I would be teetering between the two, but since it, it, it's a very clean commercial, uh, I am going to go uh, very nice. And I'm pretty sure they probably have a very nice flavor as well. So that is the, uh, the breakdown of uh, all the commercials. Uh, you can be able to see each of them. Uh, hopefully you have a nice cringe laugh that uh, I had with some of these. I'll be able to see them uh, following this uh, video or fo following me right now. Uh, let, if you have any questions, uh, be sure to put in the comments below and chat. Almonds are the all-around snack that fit into any wellness, any time. See? I fit. Nice. California Almonds, your friend in wellness. It's spooning season. Am I talking about cuddling? Maybe. The parfait technique was first developed in France. Mm, this maneuver requires a certain je ne sais quoi as you traverse through your lover's layers. I mean, obviously I've been to Paris. No, I haven't. <laughs> I have not been. I don't know why I said that. Anyways, that's how you parfait the parfait. And I have not been to Paris. I'd love to go. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't been invited. How does that one taste? It's like gorgeous and bouncy. Shimmy, 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 flossy. How does it taste? It tastes like shimmy porkins. And she's like shimmy crispy. <laughs> make dairy-free vegan taste so much like cheese? It wasn't magic, that's for sure. Our delicious moments can have many components. It can be anything but sugar. Delicious moments don't need sugar. New Zevia Creamy Root Beer. Zero sugar, zero calories.